Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 16 before going ahead with part 17. Let us start with kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is denoted by a capital K. Now as I told you by definition kinetic energy is nothing but half mv squared where m is the mass of the particle and v is the velocity of the particle. For simple harmonic motion we have already derived that velocity is equal to minus omega a sine omega t plus phi. This was the velocity of the particle. So using this value of velocity we can say kinetic energy is equal to half into m into v squared that is omega squared a square sine square omega t plus phi. Now while we were discussing force we, I told you that m omega square is defined as k that is force constant. So we can write it as half k a square sine square omega t plus phi. So this becomes the expression for kinetic energy of a particle executing simple harmonic motion. So this shows that kinetic energy is a periodic function of time. That is this also varies with this time t. Also the time period for this function is t by 2. How do we get the time period? Now I leave it to you to solve it yourself because in the first previous slides the first two problems which we discussed about was something like this. We are given a particular function. Here the function is of the form sine square omega t plus phi and you have to calculate the time period. So here the time period should come out to be t by 2. Now variation, how does kinetic energy varies? As I told you before also, the kinetic energy is 0 at extreme position, reaches a maximum value at mean position and then again decreases to 0 at the extreme position. So at mean position kinetic energy is k max and at extreme positions the kinetic energy is 0. Now let us plot kinetic energy with time. Now how do we plot kinetic energy with time? We will, we will include or we will use the same technique which we used while plotting the graph of displacement with time. So here also we know that kinetic energy is equal to half k a square sine square omega t plus phi. So let us calculate the values of this kinetic energy at different instants of time. Let us calculate kinetic energy at t is equal to 0. At the initial position, I already told you before also that t is equal to 0 that is the initial time from where we consider that the motion starts. So the motion always starts at the extreme position because the motion cannot start from mean position because the, at mean position the object is at rest, there is no external force. Whenever there is an external force, that external force will take the object from its mean position, take it to an extreme position and then leave it. So the motion starts at the extreme position. So at t is equal to 0, the object is always at the extreme position. So what happens at t equals to 0? Kinetic energy becomes half k a square sine square omega t becomes 0. Now let us assume that phi is equal to 0. Phi is nothing but the initial phase. Uh, we assume that initial phase is 0. So this kinetic energy becomes 0 at t is equal to 0. Now let us calculate it at t is equal to t by 4. That is at t by 4 it is at mean position. So the kinetic energy becomes 1 by 2 k a square sine square omega what is omega omega is 2 pi by t into t is capital T by 4. So this t t will get cancelled 2 to the 4 now sine square pi by 2 is 1 so this will be equal to half k a square. So this is the value at mean position that means 
This is the maximum value of kinetic energy. So the value of kinetic energy will vary between 0 and half k a square. Then again at t is equal to t by 2. Again the object will be at extreme position. So at extreme position again value of kinetic energy will be half k a square sine square omega is 2 pi by t and small t is equal to capital T by 2 so t t will get cancelled 2 2 will get cancelled sine pi is again 0 so the kinetic energy is again 0 so this is how you can calculate the kinetic energy for different instants of time similarly you will find that at t is equal to 3t by 4 the kinetic energy again comes out to be half k a square and at t is equal to capital T kinetic energy again comes out to be zero. Now if you plot this graph taking time along x-axis and kinetic energy along y-axis let us suppose this is t by 4 this is t by 2 this is 3t by 4 and this is t if we label it like this then what happens at t is equal to 0 the value of kinetic energy is 0 so this is our first point at t is equal to t by 4 kinetic energy is half k a square let us suppose this value represents half k a square so at t by 4 it is half k a square at t is equal to t by 2 it is again 0 so this is the second point this is the third point at 3 t by 4 it is again half k a square and at capital T it is again 0 so if you I'm sorry I plotted the graph very badly so if you plot it properly it would be something like this right so you will get a curve like this for kinetic energy when you plot kinetic energy versus time now in a very similar way we will discuss about potential energy and plot the graph of potential energy with time thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.